Michigan and Texas Tech, round of 16 in Anaheim, and Michigan really struggled shooting the ball here, Sean. Especially from behind the arc. Nothing easy coming for the Wolverines in this matchup versus the Red Raiders. We've talked about the fact that Texas Tech amongst the stingiest teams on the defensive end of the floor, and no clean looks for the Wolverines. You combine that with the fact that they weren't able to get anything going toward the basket was reflected in their shooting percentage and the frustration mounted as this game wore on as they missed their first 18 offerings from behind the arc. Did hit the 19 for good measure. There's but some that, good news. At that point, it was a little too late. Tariq Owens on the receiving end of the alley-oop there from Davide Moretti. And Texas Tech up by 13, then off the turnover. It is Moretti for three, a 16 to five advantage off turnovers for the Red Raiders. Jared Colver to Owens kept a 16 to two run and Texas Tech just pulling away. Culver really outstanding. He had 22 as Texas Tech eliminates Charles Matthews and company. 63 to 44 as Michigan falls short in its bid for its fourth Elite Eight in the last six seasons, falling for just the seventh time in their last 51 games. The 44 points, their fewest ever in an NCAA tournament game. John Beeline talking about it afterward with Sue Ann Roback. Thanks a lot. Well, Coach, yesterday when you were talking to the media, you said that this Texas Tech team would be very difficult to score points yeah. again. Did you know it would be this tough? No, I didn't think we I looked at some of their scores, and yeah, I think they were giving up 60 points a game. I thought we could probably get there. Uh, I was frankly worried, you know, more how, how we could stop them. And uh, But we had to make some threes, and their, their length and their quickness and their, the, the way they could switch every screen on and off the ball gave us some problems. And it, it has at different times of year, and then we, we get better from it. But uh, we just weren't good enough, and, and but they were really good. Let's credit them. This game seems so uncharacteristic of your team, whether you look at the turnovers yeah. or you look at the three-point shooting. How do you make sense of it? Because Texas Tech is really good. They're, vet, they're veteran. Just look at the age of all, all the players compared to ours. They got guys that have, you know, been through it a little bit. They want to win. Uh, they're, they're just have a lot of experience playing at different for different schools. Now they're all there at their one place. They've been coached really well all year long, and they're good. They're getting better every day. This was such a good season, the 17-0 and start playing for the Big Ten Championship. Yeah. But obviously it does end before you want it to. Yeah. What did you say to your team in there? Well, we said don't let this game or any game this year define our season. Remember, you're 30-7. and seven. You're all good students. You've been, you, we, we, we're in the newspapers for the right reasons. And uh, it's just something that we have to just, we just got to be it motivating for the future for us. We got a young team. Uh, you, you know, our hope is we'll have, you know, everybody back. Uh, we expect Charles to, he'll graduate and Charles move on. But everybody else, if they're all back, we got a really good team coming back. Definitely. Well, Coach, this was a great season. Thanks for your time. I all appreciate right. it. Thanks, Juan. Guys, let's go back to you. Do indeed have a good team coming back next year. And we'll get into what's ahead for the Wolverines. But in this one, Look, Texas Tech's the most efficient defense in the country, and you certainly understood why after you watched them. I thought John Beeline had an interesting comment at the very beginning of his news conference. He said, we picked a bad day to have yes. a bad day, and they picked a bad team to have a bad day against because the confluence of factors, they have too much to overcome. Yeah, and it was the defensive end of the floor, which we f figured coming into this ball game was going to set the tone, and that certainly played out in the first 20 minutes. But Texas Tech's ability to disrupt anything that Michigan wanted to do on the offensive end of the floor. Yes, they started 0 of 18 from behind the arc, but it was more than that. This is a team in Michigan that came in averaging right around nine turnovers per ball game. They turned it over 14 times, and even that doesn't tell the complete story of what Texas Tech was able to impose defensively. A lot of deflections, no kind of offensive flow that you're used to seeing. And Xavier Simpson, as wonderful as he's been throughout the course of this year, was just never able to get in the lane and create opportunities for himself or others. And then you throw in the fact that Jarrett Culver was able to get it going in the second half. The first four minutes of the second half, it was still a very close game at halftime, but Texas Tech was able to pull away. First half because of the play of Davide Moretti from behind the arc, and then Jarrett Culver was able to get going in the first five or six minutes of the second half. Uh, 44 points, we mentioned, fewest ever in an NCAA tournament game for Michigan, fewest ever for a two-seed in the NCAA tournament as well. So again, a lot of the credit goes to Texas Tech, but just a really tough day for the Wolverines.